Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Romus Rectum campaign. Um, we had a crash during the last um, episode, at the very end, just as we'd finished auto... Um, the auto save file, sorry, was the saviour here. We managed to use that to... We actually besieged this city and that crashed the game, but we've gone back to the auto save file, so we haven't really missed anything. Um, I haven't lost anything. Oh, I think I was going to... Yeah, I'm not keen on these city fights, to be honest. Um, so I think I'm going to auto resolve. If it's more than two, them, if it's more than two to one, we can auto resolve, which it is. So we just would auto resolve. That's fine. We only lost 500 guys, which is fine. It's probably less than I would lose if I fought Victory! it. Okay, let's depopulate it. And did uh, that's a shame. We didn't get any. Attributes. I'm trying to get Maximus, General Maximus, to get some more. Oh, perhaps he did. Perhaps he did get a... Yeah, more attributes for this guy. Okay, let's merge up this army. Didn't lose a many troops at all, to be honest. In fact, none from here. Um, okay, let's have a look and see. Hadrametum. Some... Oh, uh, I don't know. Should we? Should we repair this? Wars, the market, blacksmith, yes, shrine complex, yes, and we'll go for this as well. Okay, right, I can't think what I was doing. Oh yes, I'd made an error in the previous game, which I can now correct as the game crashed. I hadn't actually moved my archers down to the ships down here, which we're now going to do. We've now, we did get a general, Fabius Maximus, who's obviously the son of uh, well, actually, who is he obviously the son of? Let's, I need to do stuff on my family tree, actually. I think I've been neglecting that a bit. Um, he is the grandson of Quintus Fabius Maximus, who's the national leader. We need to, we need to set a national, a national leader, which, heir rather. So he's 65, he's going to die soon. He was the next heir. He actually is married in, is he? Oh no, I'm not really quite sure. No, he is actually the son of this guy. So we'll just go on like, is it called primogenitor? We're going to set him as the national heir. He's quite a good guy. He's down fighting with General Scipio against the Carthaginians, so he's going to get lots of attributes. Um, yeah, we'll set him as the yeah, I haven't seen the Carthaginian Navy for a long time, so I'm going to take a risk and we're going to move out a bit here, try and move down towards here, and move down to here, okay, um, we need to do something in Caralis, it's a little bit of, I don't know if it's doing well, because there's a little bit of squalor, We'll go for wine and trade. I think there is wine in this area, I think. There is. That's a resource of wine. I'm learning this, these things now. Um, Alaria, we need to cut the taxation. And again, we've got wine here, so I think we'll go we'll go for wine. Um, we're maybe going to spend a turn not um, building units up. Hadratum, just taken over, Genera, Genoa rather, we'll go for public order measures, and again in Aretium. And that's it, I think we're out of money. Let's just check our finances actually, I think we're still fine. Oh, we've lost the the image here, I think. Um, yeah, 16,000 odd. Um, yeah, we're pretty good actually here, yeah, I think. Well, the cities are, are fairly... Sir. Let's have a look down here. Engage the enemy. Okay, let's sir. do this. Settlement Maintain the siege. Seat, so, it looks as if there's nothing in there actually. Um, yeah, it does look as if there's nothing in there at all. So we've now got... 
three legions down here. We may be going to keep the older general, who's Spurious Aquila. General Aquila will keep here, I think he's 56, and we'll just concentrate on improving the, the levels of these guys. General Scipio and Fabius Maximus. Okay, does it actually say he's now the heir apparent or something? It doesn't actually, that's interesting. Okay. That's right, I think I think I'll probably at the end turn, I believe. Don't think there's anything else I want to do. Um, we're only at war with the Carthaginians at the moment, I believe. Let me just check that. I'm pretty sure that's true. And obviously the rebels. Free people, Roman rebels, and Carthage. So we're allied with Greek city-states and Sparta. Um, once I've destroyed Carthage, I'll be probably attacking the Greeks, and we'll move into this area here, because I think Greece and this area down here is like the real money-making side of things. I think that probably Carthage and... Egypt to the places for food. Um, they were historically anyway. Right, and what else is over, happening over here? So we've got this guy here, he's doing a bit of... There's a few guys here. Let's come down to here. Monitor these two cities. Secrecy is a oh, there's a few troops down here actually, a stack nearly. Um, so we'll come down here and attack here next, I think. Okay, I think we're at the end turn. Okay, so we're moving our diplomat around now. We do have an army on the... Is that the River Po? I think it is, probably. Ah, let's run away. Disengage. Oh, well, this guy's delayed them for a little while in attacking Carthage. Oh, we can't run away anymore, so let's auto-resolve. What's he got? Wow, this guy's a bit of a beast. Um, what have you got here? Oh, just archers, that's no problem. Let's... to resolve. Disengage. Okay, that's good. He can still monitor what's going on. Is he going to go... Oh no, I thought he was going to go all the way back. Okay. So he's definitely got a stack there at Serta. Senatorial elections. Sir. Um, let's have a look round what's here. Your honor. I'm trying to find their oh there's their stack. Right, okay, so we're we're fine actually. We're in a good position to intercept them if they come down towards us. Just looking to see if there's any No, there's no rebels, which is good. Carthus and Galesi, that's not good actually. It's not good because <clears throat> that's over here in Iberian Peninsula. We really needed them to be at war together, to be honest, to try and hold down this, the Carthaginian armies. Uh, obviously we've done lots of work improving our town grows. Oh, good, that's good. That's We need this for the... We need to get a... What do we need to get? I think we need to get a... One of these, I think. No, maybe it's one of these. Let's have a look. No, perhaps it is one of these. Throughout the Republic, la 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 la. Oh, building this palace in Akragas, Sicily will trigger the Marian reform. So we need to get to the end here. We're only only literally not halfway through, we're only forty percent there at the moment. We've got another sixty percent to get. So that's gonna be quite a long way off. Um, what, actually, what's the public order like here? Because the population's going, it's a boom at the moment, 25%. We might need to do something on squalor next, I think, once we've got this. Population boom, and I'll get um, plague or something. Right, well, there's the... Talk about the Carthaginian fleets. I think there is one just there, or certainly a navy. Let's come down to... Here. Disembark, General! We can get on to here. Fleet can he can he not go anywhere? Why can't why can't that fleet go anywhere? Okay, well he'll have to he'll have to come on next turn. It's a bit annoying. 
Um, let's get rid of these guys. It's only one ship. It is only one ship. Clear defeat. That wasn't good. Damn. Right. So we need to have one of those. We can retrain loads of guys. We don't need to retrain anyone. Um, okay. So we've got bases of another. Orders. Oh my god. We've now got a full stack in there. That's amazing. That's amazing that you suddenly get a full stack in there. Why? I don't know why. Sir. Um, I really want to use this general, to be honest. Sir. Can we do that? Let's let's move this guy out. Let's move him out to here. Onward. Let's see if we can let's turn the taxes right down first of all. Um, just looking what to build here. Um, maybe we need to go back to Carthage and see what we're going to do here. I think we're going to build happiness, happiness. Five and five. Probably the temple will be better, to be honest. Um, we need to put some troops down, down here. Put them down here. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. I think, as we said, this guy's managed to delay these troops. Let's put him down here again. Hopefully, that will delay them even more. Got a spy watching what's going on here. We've definitely got a full stack coming towards us here. Maybe even something along here, I don't know. But um, let's, let's move down to here. Attack. Yeah, I don't know where that stack came from, to be honest, because it was actually besieged and their stack appeared inside. Maybe it's because because I'm playing on very hard. Very hard, perhaps. That's just one of the, the things that happens. Uh, so we have to use General Scipio to sort. Okay, so we're, we're fine here. 10 to 3. We will actually auto-resolve this. Okay, clear victory. Gosh, we lost 1,600. <sighs> Should have really fought that, I suppose. Victory! I don't think we would have lost 1,600 if we'd have fought it. Okay, but let's keep moving on. Let's repair. Militia barracks. Uh, that's not our building, is it? I don't think so. We just need to get rid of that. Tax. I think that's okay. Market's okay. Shrine, I suppose, at the moment. Let's go for that. Uh, let's, let's merge up these armies. Probably because with these reinforcements that are coming over, we're probably going to have um, only still three legions, so we need to maybe start building soon again. Maybe we'll have next term, we'll make some more units in um, Rome. Can we actually build... Let's build a ship, because we lost one. Zero turn recruitment. We're only using it as transport, actually. Um, okay. Gosh, these turns are zooming by, aren't they? Roman rebels. Where's that then? Oh, he must be in Rome. Town grows. Krakus, we did that. I'm sure we did that. Yes, building that. Deterring port. So we're getting lots of cash. That's good. Um, still no rebels about. Can we actually make peace with these guys? Oh no, we're going to bribe them. Okay, that's fair enough. I shall speak with them at once. Oof, another guy here. Another mini stack. Are the boy actually at war with them? Let's have a look. The boy. Don't it at war with the free people? Does that mean the inserbs? I assume it does. Okay, right. Anyway, we're gonna, I think I said before we're going to let things um, 
just fester up here we're not going to try and get involved we don't have the troops to do it we're going to take a defensive posture here until we can actually get um, Carthage well at least until we're in to start attacking Iberia we're going to wait until at least we're going across the the um, Straits of Gibraltar and attacking okay I think we're all right I don't think there's anything more we want to do we're going to come down here and attack here of course there'll probably be a stack here by then um, got these guys who can hopefully land he'll probably he'll probably actually attack our port and blockade it anyway nothing we can do about that let's um so it's winter four nine sorry five four nine let's end our turn okay we're gonna retreat Oh, we didn't actually retreat there, that was weird. Uh, it's, it's still the same group. Two archers and some spears, well, they're, they're not any issue of, about giving us a problem at all. Okay, they're heading east, which is not good. But not a full stack, which is good, it's just a small, small group. Okay, actually they didn't blockade us, so that's good. So maybe we can get these guys into the port aye, aye, Captain. Yes. go there Disembark. Imperator. So we've got Fabius Maximus okay what's this guy got he's 56 I think maybe maybe we'll move some of these over onto Order. this young lad in fact not maybe we will let's just check through the information bubbles Greeks and the Arverni at war. I think the Greeks are pushing up from Marseilla, I think, from Marseille. To turn your forces melt away. That's the that small group. I really like these guys. These um, Celtic archers. Very good. Um, okay. Let's have a look and see what we're going to do here. So we can move an army down. First we're going to move him in and we're going to try moving some of these over that's good I know for you purists out there you won't like this at all me doing this but Orders. I just think it's far more interesting to actually do that um, Cav, we've got Cav and Archers <clears throat> Sir. Imperator. right let's come to here Right, so we need mm, maybe three archers and three cab, or three archers, two cab, and a. Yeah. Orders, sir. Orders, Move them to there. We're not going to get very far to the south, to be honest, because these guys have only just um, moved. And uh, maybe two cab. Yeah. Okay, let's move these guys in here. Okay. Yeah, he can't really get very far down here. Let's move to here. We need to... I think maybe we're going to push Decius Maximus, General Maximus, to the south, I think. Let's go there. Right. Alright, so we need to... We need to first put his Imperator. units Daryl. that have been decimated. Daryl. Actually, I don't mean decimated because that actually means something, does it? In Roman, it's one in ten a punishment. It's um Sir. okay. So Orders. Sir. let's have a look. Definitely Daryl. want the archers in there. I love the archers. Some more cav. Uh, some Daryl. more. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll send this army under General Maximus down towards here. March. Out of move, sir. We'll take them out next turn. Um, let's move them in there. Imperator. Actually, probably need probably to move them down. I'm hopeful that this army here will take out this one guy, unless we suddenly get another um, another stack 
looming up. Okay, I'm just going to merge up all the guys that I can. Then we need to get some more troops over to um, Carthage. So we're going to concentrate on our really good troops. And more archers, of course. Love the archers. You know, noble cavalry. Not that expensive. I'd rather use the archers, to be honest. I really would. I'd rather have at least like three or four archer units in each legion at the moment. The way things are going. Okay, um, that's all okay. Just looking for rebels again. Oh, Kanai is not happy. Um, all right, what can we do here? Two turns. I think we worked out that it's better to do the temple for happiness. Then we can annex the region, but that will cause problems, I think. Client or allied state, what does that do? Happiness bonus in newly conquered areas. Tax benefits are everywhere. That building any Roman opium buildings would occur rough of the people. Um, but to have false freedom, if you're on a central client state, undo your watch while I was going to access a number of allied units. Fight your armies. Part of the agreement you broke with these people in return for their freedom. Okay. Hmm. See how they behave and then decide how to proceed in coming years. Or well, can I? Is um, We want them to have citizenship. I don't know how we get to citizenship, to be honest. I would guess... If we annex the region, I don't think at the moment, but if we annex the region, that means that we'll be able to give them citizenship. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And we got there from government determination, wasn't it, I think? Right, so we need government determination and then annex region once they're happy and then we can give them citizenship, I hope. Let me know if that's wrong. Uh, good Lord. That's bad. Um, we get rebels here, aren't we? We're going to get a revolt. Revel um, public order's only 70. Okay. What's causing the problem here? General, move out. Wow, that's weird. Actually, moving him out means that people are happier. Why is that? Perhaps it's because it's a... Uh, I reckon it's because it's a... what kind of region? A client state. I reckon that's what it is. We're gonna move these over because he's gonna die soon, this guy. The older of the two. No, actually, that isn't bad. I thought it was an adverse one, but it isn't. Okay, right. And we're done, I think. I think we, are there any other places we can upgrade stuff to? Right. Can do a temple here. Five army rations. Is there wine in Tarentum? The wine resource? I don't think there is. I think it's just wood, I think. That wood? Timber. Yes. Um... So, do, 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 do. let's go for government determination. Regium. Let's go for that first. And can we get some more guys here? I think we can get some more cav, can we? No, we can't. Okay, what about up here? Might get some cohorts. Or a cohort. Right. Okay, we're done. I think we're done. Um, my agent. What's happening over here? So we just we're literally just keeping an eye on what's going on around here. So that's got a stack. Without delay. There's another stack around here somewhere, delay. isn't there? Without delay. There we are. There's another stack here. It's not possible, sir. Without delay. Okay. Right. Hmm. Okay, so we found the Carthaginian fleet. It was a bit of a pain, wasn't it, finding it in that way? 
Um, so this ship can take these guys. We've now got Ready to sail. a Byrene that we can move back to here. Yes, Captain. Okay, and I probably didn't. I said I probably didn't need to move the the air down to be honest. Or he's not the air, is he? The um, he's a nephew of this guy down here. General. The air. I think we're probably end turn. Let's go for it. Ah, right. A stack. So let's withdraw. Maybe we can draw them off. Didn't really work that well, did it? Actually, that was on board a ship, so probably we've done ourselves a favour there. They're now inside the city because uh, we're using the BI um, barbarian invent, um, invasion um, executable, and that means that you tend to get more bar, um, invasions. Let's just come down here slightly, just see if it crashes. No, okay, that's fine. Let's, let's go for this. Let's besiege this. He's got a pretty much a stack in there. So I say that ship was somewhere up here, I would guess. Gonna invade Sicily. That would be my guess. Um Right, let's get these guys down. Should always remember to move them down to our ship. And oh I've got another No I haven't. I thought we had another guy for a moment. Um What we're going to do, take everyone but, right, okay, I don't think we're going to afford to move out to be honest, we'll have to move here and then down to here, yeah, not sure, quite sure what to do, we can't, we need to win this battle, um, I think I may need to spread my guys out. I need to put more infantry in there, I think. Yeah, we definitely need more infantry. Let's put them in there. Um, right here, we're quite low on troops. Indeed, we are very low. In fact, Imperator. do we go here and then we use General Scipio as a reinforcement? I think we are going to do that. Sir. I'll bring him down here. It's going to take a, a turn or so to so we maybe keep the siege going for a moment or two, for a turn or so. Okay. Yeah, am I getting this right? Temple of Optimus Maximus. Perhaps we build this, and we build this, and then we get government determination. Is that the way to do it? We annex a region. We can actually retrain some of these guys. No, let's do economic stuff. Let's do some economic stuff. We're just going to go around and try and improve our, our stuff. Gosh, 9,000. Oof, I'm not quite sure whether to do that. Maybe we'll do. We'll do that. Um, need to see what's actually happening in the settlement. Right, four thousand. Hmm, maybe that. Perhaps us. Okay. I think we're going to go for Annex Region. Um, yeah, I think so. And then we'll go for Temple of Optimus Maximus. Jupiter. Okay, kind of running out of money here, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Things are going okay. I think possibly more troops. We definitely need more another legion down in what we got here. Fleet ready. 
so we can produce another, another couple of guys um, yeah we'll do that actually you might be able to get a cavalry which will probably be a better bet yeah we'll take cavalry We're fighting the Carthaginians aren't we um, again I'm just going to have a quick look around for any problems that we've got they're all pretty much green aren't they yeah I think we're okay everywhere's happy so it's a shame we're wasting a lot of money here running this but um, with one turn I'm wondering one turn recruitment I wonder whether just attack one of these cities and move in okay not quite sure what to do here to be honest we'll, we'll keep that to one side thought of doing that okay I think we've been through here Roman rebels recruitment trouble justice ah he's got a large estate Marcus Marcellus town grows Lily Bayham ah so we can build a palace here Okay, end of turn. Plenty of money coming in. And that's the general who got destroyed. Okay, let's end the turn. At least the end turn doesn't take too long for the um, other factions. Right, recruitment report. Some cavalry. Some temples. Okay, just looking to see. Oh, got some more opportunity for another general, which is good. Been here. Okay, I think we're sending him down to. Have we got room on board ship? I don't think we have actually. Ready to sail. I don't think we have. This guy. He's definitely going to die soon, so we're going to, going to put him somewhere. We'll maybe put him up here with this army. Okay, we need to take a guy out, so we'll take out this guy. This guy in. Bam, do that. Okay, and we'll... That gives us opportunity to bring these three guys down. Right, let's go down to here, and here, and then here. Did he actually get off? Did they get off? They didn't get off. Get off! Come on! Get off! Get off! Get off! Ready to sail! Oh, come on! Well, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we're going to have to move all our ships round. To protect it, because we've got an army on here plus a yeah. I mean that's a really good army. We don't want to lose that. A really good legion. Up oh, there's a group here. For some reason we've got problems here. Let's do that. Let's more move Scipio down here and add these guys to the siege. Okay, and we're gonna move we're gonna have to move some troops down to fight this guy. Although we can probably come out, attack them and then move back, to be honest, that would be a way to do it. Um I don't think there's many troops here to be honest. It's just a chance for Fabius Maximus to get his get some experience. Let's attack this guy. There we go. Right, okay, so he's got Spearman, Light Cav, Spearman. So, not really going to be much of a problem, but we don't want to lose any guys. I like fighting the battles on the map. I'm not keen on these city battles because they tend to be, as they are in Rome 2, kind of a bit of a rat run, a bit of a maze. You're just fighting your way through, a, through corridors and it just takes forever. It's just a. There's no kind of tactical 
No, when I say there's none, I mean it's very, you can obviously attack at one point, force the units to attack you on that wall and then go around a different area. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. By this time tomorrow, our sword arms will ache from overuse! It's not a bad speech from a 17-year-old, I think. Um, usual tactics, we're going to try and get them to turn. Uh, just got to watch his cav actually, so we're going to put some cav round with these guys. Um, we'll put the velites at, or velites are they? Velites I would have said. Um, actually let's actually group these guys together because that will be easier to move around. These will be the pinning force. We'll put them here, and got some more Astarte. Again, they'll be able to go and attack them at the front. Here he is. He's the young lad. His first big battle. What are we doing here? Let's get these medium cavalry over on this wing. And the other guys here. Right, quite happy with that. Just need to alter the angle slightly. Where are they? Where are the devils? Ah, they're taking up position over here. That's okay, that won't save them. We need to come up onto the ridge. Um, indeed, he doesn't really, they don't really have much of a chance. Let's group these guys together because they're going to have a pain a lot. It's going to be a pain otherwise controlling them. And also these guys as well. Okay, so attack along the ridge. Hopefully we can force them to shield wall or something that looks remarkably like a shield wall if it isn't okay so what we're going to try and do is attack along the ridge get them to turn their their backs to us along here we'll then move up our archers who will be down here with some cavalry cover It'll be mainly a question of running away of course if they attack down the hill um, yeah we want to be kind of here these guys here, these guys here, general here, they should start to sw switch around shortly. Um, not quite sure what to do with these cavalry, maybe they'll, they'll be used for pursuit or to take out his general. Let's move there. Okay, I think we can afford to yeah, here we go. He's swinging around. Let's put the old fire arrows on. I love the fire arrows. We need to hit the backs of these units with the fire arrows. That's so satisfying, actually. And you seem to get much better hits than if you're just in the kind of the, the melee. You know, you obviously can kill many more guys with the... Um... We're actually gonna... Are we going to take these out of skirmish? No, we'll keep them in skirmish. Okay, let's you know go and watch these. As you can see, we've, the balance of power is very much in our favour. Um, yeah, we need to go hidden if we can with these guys. Don't know if that's possible, so that we can swing these guys around. They're not going to be happy. Let's move these guys to here. Whoa, 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 stop that, stop that. Let's 
going on here? It's starting to move about. They're charging, I think. Are they? We can probably they're light cav, we're gonna we're gonna attack. If they if they do continue, we're gonna attack. Okay, so right, let's keep an eye on them. Iberian missile cavalry, so we need to move back slightly. And he is coming for us. So we need and we're still positioning, so we need to move back. Okay, he's gone back again. Right, you've got to watch these guys because they're they're quite fast. Put our cavalry in the woods here. Let's go here. He's coming towards us again. Carry around to here. Looks like he really is coming down now to be honest these guys, so we're gonna back here. Let's run away. Let's form a triori line up here. Right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, attacking. Oh dear, we took a took a hit there, that's a shame. I was trying to actually avoid that if we could. Attack downhill. Oh, let's get the cav in. Because these guys are going to get caught otherwise. They're going to get caught, they're going to get charged. Come on, cav. Charge, 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 come on. Run away. Cav, come on. They're not moving. Why are they not moving? God, they took ages to actually... Right, okay. Yeah, we've lost some archers there. They just took ages to actually do anything there. This is not going to be cl particularly clean, to be honest. I was hoping we could use our, our guys. I should have really used my cab to... Yeah, we've lost. God damn it. Attack these guys. Damn. I, I've just lost those archers and that's really annoying to be honest. I did not handle that well. Not losing too many cavalry, of course, against um, light cavalry, but it's just very annoying. 55, so he got barely, barely a unit. Let's get after them. We've killed him, that's good. Okey doke. Damn, I did not do well there. Perhaps I should have had more infantry around my, my guys. Continue. Be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear yes, that was not clean, and the the guys that I really wanted to to keep clean and not destroyed took probably the biggest losses out of all of that. So I'm not pleased with that. Okay. Don't want them firing at me, guys. Okay, be over shortly, I think. Okay. Sending the bowmen off somewhere, I'll then stop getting them to fire on my guys. Okay. Yeah, but look. 
300. That's not good. That's not good. Damn. Didn't handle the micro on that too well. I was I was unaware of how fast the cavalry could move, and um, my own cavalry were quite slow responding to my order to attack from the woodland. They just didn't seem to be interested, to be honest. Okay. Well, we've killed them. We've killed them. That's the main thing. And um, Marcus Maximus has had his first. Yeah, so you've barely got two units of bow now, which is a pain, actually. Okay, that's fine. I think that's safe. It's looking a bit trapped. This is looking a little bit. He's got a battleful messenger. That's good. Construction report. This is all good stuff. Agent found. Where is that? Regium. So he's obviously having a look around, causing trouble. 16,000 again. That's fine. Let's have a look up here. What we're doing up here. Um, maybe we'll send him down to here and can retrain, I think. Um, right, what to do next? Yeah, but our main guy here, he's now 67. Obviously campaign life agrees with him. He's out in the field now rather than being in a city. Perhaps he's, he's more healthy out in the field. I wouldn't have thought so, but maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, that's fine. We need to send more troops down. Here we're still besieging. Um, yeah, I don't like the look of this really. We're a bit exposed here. I need to get these, this army down. This legion down towards... Um, can he not move? I thought he could move now. We, I thought we'd had a turn. Yes, Captain. Ready to sail. No, perhaps he can't. Perhaps he can't. Um. Ready to sail. Can he go onto those ships? I was wondering if I can kind of like piggyback them. Fleet ready. Uh, no, only the general and the horses can move over, although even then it's saying it can't. Um, okay, right. So all my towns are okay. I'm just going to quickly look through and see about upgrading stuff. Grain storage. I think we need a large foundry, to be honest. Public order's fine. Oh, we should really get this, I think. Yes, we should definitely get that 20% tax bonus. That's cost us a lot, but um, that's a good good thing to build, I think. Could build a palace here. Has he got wine here? He hasn't. He's got pottery. But we need to build that because we're getting possibility of Akragus. Yeah, that's good. We're still getting 6.5. We've still, still got quite a boom going on now. Population boom. Be up to 10,000 very quickly, I expect. Um, I'm going to build that. And we're done. That's all our money done. Um, okay. I think Carthage is pretty safe. I think probably here is as well take them a turn in any case to, to attack so we've got enough time to sort things out um, right I think we'll, we'll maybe end our turn see what the Carthaginians do let's do that oh there's the navy getting some blockades now going in right okay money is gradually going down we're only getting 13,000 now we need to concentrate on the next turn I think on producing um, yeah producing money things things that produce money Ready to okay so we get around here probably land here I think 
Yes, Captain. Yep. Disembark. Ready to sail. Go here. Set sail. Ready to sail. Up here. Set sail. And up Ready here. To We're going to move the ship up to the Set Roman sail. docks. Oh, you can attack, let's attack here. Oh yeah. Clear victory. Okay, that's good. Let's experience my guy. Ready to sail. This is quite a beast of a ship, of course. We're going to the docks for the moment. Yeah, that's a really good ship. Okay, so we now got Spurious. Maximus. And we've got... Oh, he's picked up a 10% bonus. Right, so we don't want this sly advisor. We'll keep him with this guy. But now we've got this legion. Um, you can probably... Next episode we'll probably attack this. We might auto-resolve it, I don't know. Um, I might actually fight the battle and then you'll see what I mean about the way in which... Um, it's not particularly rewarding to be honest, I don't think. I think that's the word. It's only got two turns to go. They'll probably come out next turn anyway to attack us. I'm not too worried because we're still building up our troops here. We're going to need maybe four or five legions to attack and push through um, North Africa towards Iberia. So the main diplomatic problem we have is the um, Galassi, are they called? They're actually now at peace with Carthage, so their main enemy is now gone. I was hoping these guys would um, cause them problems and keep them tied down in Iberia whilst we do the do the business in North Africa. Sir. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, things are moving on. We've taken some more cities, of course. Thrapsus, I think, Hadramatum. Metum rather, Hadrametum, and we'll be taking Lepsis. I'm not quite sure what's down here. I think presumably it's the um, Ptolemaic Kingdom, is what it would it be? One of the successor kingdoms to Alexander the Great's. And then Seleucids are over here, of course. And the Macedonians up here. They'll be quite difficult to deal with, of course. Training complete. Lots of construction. That's good. National announcements. Another family member, that's good. Another guy. Actually, he's got a lot of um He's 45, but he's, he's pretty good. Publicane. Okay, so he's buying his way to, into office. That's why people don't like him. Okay. He has lots and lots of um, very good attributes. Okay. Right. Thanks for your time watching. Hope you're enjoying the um, Romus Rectum. I will be, I think I've said already, I'll be doing a Rome 2 Emperor Edition playing as Rome. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing something a bit different there. What I might do, there's still no Senate involved in the Rome 2, as far as I'm aware. So what I may do at the end of each episode, if it's in a it's kind of a if it's logically consistent, what I'm gonna do is maybe throw out decisions to my subscribers. So it'll be things like do we attack north or do we do we get peace with Carthage or do we do this or do we do that? And I'll maybe put that to um, my subscribers, as if they the, they're the Senate, and they can decide. Or I'll take a we'll take a vote. All those guys who decide to that will do maybe go north, for instance, or head towards Carthage, etc. Um, and then that'll be a bit more interactive, a bit more interesting, I think, for people. Um, it's certainly more interesting for me if we get some dumb decisions by subscribers if they decide to send me off and fight in Macedonia or something rather than Carthage. Um, but certainly what I'm going to do that to make the game a bit more interesting because I have seen some of the people, the, um, uh, like Air of Carthage and some of the other people playing on beta and it still doesn't look very good to be honest. It doesn't look like a very good game. So maybe we'll throw that into the melt and we'll see, we'll see how that runs if, if the um, subscribers get involved and decide policy, like senatorial policy and I'll just carry it out basically. 
So you'll be running the campaigns to a large extent, of course, not the battles, but the actual overall sort of high level strategic decision making will be done by the subscribers. OK, so hope you're keeping well, be speaking to you soon. Um, today is the 16th, so hopefully at some stage I'll be able to download the Emperor edition if the servers are not too busy. Um, right, speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.